Hey there guys, we new here and welcome to Let's Play. Hold on one second there. No, that's not the name of the game. The game is Bomberman Hero. Welcome back to the N64 Summer. Um, so I kind of mentioned a little bit that this was going to be my next uh, N64 game. Uh, I kind of alluded to it a little bit, but um, honestly, like this game is such a banger of a game. <laughs> And it's uh, right up there with Star Fox 64 is like another game that I played a ton as a kid. Um, so to make my spiel that I normally would do at the beginning of these short and sweet, uh, this game is great. It has an amazing soundtrack. Uh, it like, it, it's just like a bunch of drum and bass songs that are just really good. Uh, and overall it's just like a, a solid platformer, but, um, I'll do my best to explain the game as we go along if you've never played it before. If you do play it, or if you have played it, if you do play it regularly, then you probably are a speedrunner. Um, if you <laughs> if you have played it before, then um, enjoy the nostalgia. So, we're going to get a basic story here. Bomber Nebula. These are the planets within the Bomber Nebula. And then this son of a bitch comes out of nowhere and starts blasting. Literally. Primus? 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 We need to tell Bomberman and his friends right away. I'm probably blocking some of that text, but... I tried to find, like, the least intrusive place I could be. Princess Million, something is approaching. Yeah. Sounds like a peacock. Solid sound effects. Take this disc and go hide in the engine room. Princess Million, what are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Just her. Authentic voice acting, too. So, here is our planetary select screen. Um, as you saw, there are five planets. I think there's a secret sixth one, but um, I'm not going to be 100% focused on doing uh, secrets and stuff um, in this playthrough. I'm going to mostly focus on just like playing through the levels showing all the levels as much as I can, um, but uh, not really focus on going out of my way to get secrets and stuff like that. I might do a bonus episode at the very end where I kind of like go back through and 100% everything and kind of uh, make it a, a signed, sealed, delivered package. Anyways, as you saw, each planet has roughly three areas sometimes. Um, I think there's, I think the last planet only has two or something. I don't know, I'm working off of like age old memory right now, <laughs> but uh, each planet has three areas and each area has levels, as you can see here, level selects. Um, you have to do these in order. Um, some of them, as you can see, like secret room, uh, will require you to find a secret exit within the level to uh, actually get. So this is your basic tutorial area where you can play around a little bit um, and explore like what the game's all about. Um, I don't think there's any like real score or anything in this area. As you can see, the things on my screen are uh, health, score. Um, the thing that I'm blocking personally is uh, a crystal counter, um, which if we can find a crystal, I can show you what they look like. If not, we'll see them at some point anyway. Um, basically, there's these little blue, blue crystals and stuff. There's like gems in the levels that we'll be collecting. Uh, and there is a bomb count and a, a firepower count, and then there's an item thing at the top of the screen, which also is important, but we will discuss that later. I always love this intro. It's like Barman just like heading into work, like he works somewhere. Barman, you're back. I'll train you now. Okay. Let's 
so we get a nice elevator ride up to the training area. A meteorite hits. Barman gets pissed. What was that? He's out for vengeance. Okay, here's your first real level. Um, so those are crystals. You can hear this banging soundtrack going on. Absolutely amazing soundtrack, I love this. Uh, <clears throat> so you have bomb tokens, fire tokens. What these do is they basically uh, increase your bomb count. Uh, essentially, like how many, if you see like the two down there, it means I can place two bombs or have two bombs out at one time. Uh, and then the firepower uh, is how big your explosions are. Um, the bigger your explosions, the more likely you are to hit uh, targets in a larger area. Things like that. It's not necessarily like they do more damage, because most things in this game just die from one hit anyway. Um, so score is important because every level has a score counter. Um, that is not told to you until you beat the level. Um, and basically once you beat the level, it will tally up your score and see if you're... It'll basically give you a grade, like 1 out of 5, um, on how well you did. But, basically, yeah. This this game's pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, in terms of mechanics, it's just like a basic platformer. You place bombs, you throw bombs, they do almost everything for you, anything and everything. Um, there's no real, like, hidden mechanics or anything like that, nothing secret going on. Unless the level has secrets, but anyway. We'll, we'll talk more about that secrets later. <laughs> uh, so that little vest at the top of the screen, that's a power-up, and there's gonna be a couple of those throughout the game. Um, but the vest itself is probably one of the more useful ones. It basically makes you immune to your own um, bombs. So like, if I normally did that, I'd be taking damage right now. Uh, because your own explosions from your bombs can hurt you. Um, but with the vest, it makes you immune to your own explosions, but not to enemy explosions, so... Gotta keep that distinguished. Okay. Get the switch here. Oops. Make the platform go down. It can be hard to, like, basically, like, gauge where your bombs are gonna go when you throw them, and getting used to all that, it's definitely something that takes practice. But, uh... I haven't played this game in so long, so... Whew! It's going to be an absolute shit show trying to, uh... Basically figure out, like, what, um... Get back into the groove of it, I guess. But this game is also one of my white whales, uh, which I didn't mention previously. Uh, because... The last level is basically like a boss rush, spoiler alert. Um, and it is really difficult, uh, or at least it was when I was a kid. I haven't given it like an honest attempt as like an adult before, so it could be easy and I'm just like overhyping the hell out of it. <laughs> kind of like everything that happened in Star Fox, but um, me as an adult, I don't think I'll have a problem with it, but you never know. Could end up kicking my ass when I get there. Anyways, I think this level has a secret exit. You'll know if you just beat the level, like if you find the natural exit to a level, and then you see on the level select screen that it's skipping one, then you know that that previous level had a secret exit and you just didn't find it. So, kind of annoying because some of these levels you do have to play through twice to get the secret exit and then the regular exit. Kind of like a Super Mario World. If you hop over this fence, there's a key card there. You can hop over this barrier. There's another secret down here. More James. Every 200 gems you get, you uh, get an extra life piece. But it is kind of odd because when you get 200, you get the extra life piece, but you lose that life piece if you uh, save and exit the game. So it was kind of like 
You only retained life pieces for as long as you played the game in one continuous run. I think that is the secret exit. You know what, actually... I, d I don't think I'm gonna get a 5 on this, but let's just take the secret exit. Yeah, no, not even close. I did it! It's a 4. But hey, we got the secret room. So we'll do the secret room real quick, and then we'll go back and do the other level again. Um, so, you can see the exit's right there, but it is locked by a door. Um, I'm also going to be getting some frame rate drops on my authentic Nintendo 64, so don't mind that when you see it. Um, so, the uh, exit door is locked, and to open it we have to basically get the... Uh, four keys, which are these little, like, transparent crystal things. You'll see one of them showed up on the door back there. Um, we'll see this mechanic quite a bit in this game. These bigger levels also are going to be where you're going to see a lot of frame rate drops. Just a product of the era, I guess. Could have swore you could go back behind those, but I guess not. And there we go. That's all four of them. I want that crystal. God, having upgraded bombs is so nice, but it's so, like, not nice if you don't have the uh, safety vest because then you could just absolutely destroy yourself. <laughs> Let's grab all of these crystals. I think this takes us over to the exit, but I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. Gotta kill that chicken. Grab that one back there. Um, some levels actually have more than the uh, par score. So, like, getting a 5 doesn't mean, like, you aced the level. Because you can actually get more than what's actually, like, the par score for it. I don't know how to better explain that, but you can. So, see, we can't go to the heavy room. So we gotta go back to the hyper room and get the regular exit, but... That should be easy because we can just basically speedrun it. Since we're not worried about the score anymore. Or anything like that. <laughs> oh shoot, I need the key card, that's right. So, yeah, that exit door is locked. Uh, locked! It's just like a red door with a red door with a red and a green light. And that's how you know it's a, a key card door. Then again, if you just find a key card in a level, the assumption would be that it's for the exit. Controls are also super slippery in this game, so it definitely takes getting used to. I know how to get a 5 on that level. I saw everything I missed. But maybe we'll come back and get 5s on all these. It unlocks a. Uh, the secret world at the end and gets you a secret ending and all that stuff. How do you kill these? Oh, yeah. They gotta be spinning. <laughs> Again, slippery controls, man. Like, I can go left and then turn right on a dime, but, like, turning wide like this is, like, slippery because you can also turn in midair and your momentum doesn't stop and it's just... Whew. So an enemy has placed an ADOC bomb somewhere in this room. I'll remove it. Uh, this is an ADOC bomb. It's basically like a collectible. There's... They're hidden in random levels, and there's 24 of them in the game. I think you can see, yeah. So like, it tells you what world they're on that you're missing them, but they're just in random levels, so... Kind of a pain in the butt to collect, but again, I think it gets you like a secret ending if you get all of them. Uh, 
there's that safety vest. I don't think there's a safety vest in every level. I don't think there's one in the secret level. But, um... It's a, probably the most common, like, power-up that you're gonna find. Whoa. Okay, jump through here. I don't know if I demonstrated kicking bombs, so if you have a bomb on the ground here, you can kick it and it'll travel in a straight line from where you run up behind it on. It can be useful for getting rid of some enemies. Ooh, that was way too late. I was trying to be fancy. If you destroy the barrier tower core, the wall will disappear. Um need a piece of info there. It's a big barrier, you just gotta throw bombs in the middle of this thing. And do damage to it. There we go. Um, please? Sir? Is there any secret? Yeah, I was about to say, there's definitely gotta be stuff on these red things. Ooh, and on top of there. Ooh, and not... Can't touch that, okay. That uh, makes sense, I guess. I can't get up there? Yeah, I can. Can't get up there? How in tarnation do you get up there? What is that all about? Unless there's like... Oh, uh, maybe. Hold on. I think I can walk along this, yeah. Are more secrets down this way? Yeah, there is. Yeah, buddy. Alright, now we can go for the tower thing. There we go. Par for this level is probably 4,500. Yeah, so we got a little bit over there. We probably grabbed everything in that level, which again, like, I'm not trying to, it's just like. I'm going through it and grabbing what I see. You'll need a card key to open the exit door ahead. Did I say card key or key card? <laughs> uh, okay, so, hop up here. Another one of these things. This guy takes off and leaves you a crystal. Was there a thing down there? A platform? No. It's like deceptive. That shadow on that, that platform back there is what I mean by that. I think I turn it off by doing this. Yeah, I should have done that a long time ago. So like upgraded bombs is pretty good because you can kill small enemies like that in a large radius pretty easily, but finding uh, firepower upgrades is not super common. They give you a ton at the start of the game, but I've been sitting at 4-3 for a while now. <laughs> oh my lord. First death. Yes, sir. Well, when you die, um, you don't lose really anything. You kind of have to start the level over. Not a huge deal, but as you see, my firepower went down by one. Uh, that's kind of the punishment that you get. I think if your firepower is at one, your bomb starts to go down too. So just like, you get weaker <laughs> as you fail levels. Jeez, that's so slippery. Jumping around like that. Not mess up these platforms this time. I think what I did was I moved, I started jumping forward when my platform that I was on was moving backwards. So it made it like 
basically I lost all my momentum once I lost left it. Or I was moving backwards while trying to move forward. Something around here is killing my frame rate. I don't know what the hell it is. Here's the key card. Does this lead to the exit? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna risk jumping. I saw the uh, that platform over there, but I don't know if I can reach it or what extent these fucking bean burritos jumping around like they own the place. Woo wee! Uh, water is also fatal. Um, Bomberman cannot swim. <laughs> so, don't go chasing waterfalls. There I go, getting hit by my own bomb. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Again, I'm not trying to get everything, but <laughs> if it happens, it happens. And there we go. Training complete. I'll give you the bomber pitch. What the hell is a bomber pitch? Use the power gear to fly. I think he's talking about the ship we use. Power gear works. In oh no, he's explaining like, so there's different types of levels in this game. Um, there's like uh, water levels, flying levels, stuff like that. We just haven't really seen them yet. Now he's telling us to go check out the UFO that crashed while we were in the elevator. Bomberman goes off on his adventure. Towards the flat textured mountains of Area 2. So as you can see, there's a lot more levels in Area 2. Hoo-wee! But, uh, levels, like, vary by area and by planet. It's a shit show. <laughs> they are all over the place. There's some firepower. So this is Blue Cave. God, like, the nostalgia with these levels is flowing back into me. Stupid bird things with the mouth. Still trying to be careful of my um my own bombs there. Because again, my explosions are pretty big and don't want to get hit by them. I thought I got that guy. goodies over here. If anything, my main like reason why I'm going to be collecting everything is so I can get crystals for the extended life. Um, and obviously I'm going to leave my authentic Nintendo 64 on for as long as this LP takes, clearly. Uh, not use save states, that would be insane, because that doesn't exist. A crab. Pretty easy level. Very straightforward. Whole Lake. Our first uh, power-up mission, or a, whatever the fuck it's called. It's a water level. That sucks. But now I gotta explain like what water levels are like. Bomber Marine. Alright. Water level. This shit sucks. Um, so, kind of the same thing. Um, we're just 
controls are a little bit different. You got back, up, and forward. You kind of move around with your control stick. Um, bombs, however, when you're underwater, much like Star Fox 64, uh, home in on enemies. So it kind of gets rid of the whole aiming aspect for you. You can also hold them and they get real big like this and you can shoot uh, whatever your bomb count is out. So I shot out four there because I can have four bombs on screen at once. Also determines like what kind of like rapid fire capability you have. But again, you have to be careful because you can still get hurt by your own bombs. So if you're just like shooting rapid fire, then your bombs are going to start blowing up on each other's explosions and it just F's you over real hard. So a bunch of memes are going to fall from the ceiling. Avoid those. We got maxed out firepower. Whoa, Nelly. There goes my frames. Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna swim over here. Back up a bit. Nope, I wanna go the other way. There we go. Nope, back up a bit more. And right there. <laughs> controls for underwater is not the best, but then again, like what game has good underwater controls from this era? It's like a time when we were all still learning. If I die, I'm gonna roast somebody. First person I see. Don't shoot your fucking bubbles at me, dude. I don't want to back up into Moai meme guy. Bill Nye the meme guy. Can I not kill this guy because I'm not facing his face? I can't get this guy. Oh my god. Turning in here is like atrocious. It's atrocious. Kick his ass, sea bass. I'm like freaking Nagasaki his ass, and he's still standing. All right, more crabs flying out of the abyss, killing my frames. This is why this LP is going to take a while. I can tell you. So I'm worried about my crabs instead of just going with the flow. So this guy kind of blocks the exit. <laughs> it's just like a big crab that becomes a bigger one. You don't want to shoot too fast because as you saw there, um, it can lead to hurting yourself. Time this right. God, how much health does this guy have? Shoo! Got him. Okay. Whoo! That was close. Oh man, we we went overboard on that level by a lot. Okay, red cave it is. Um I don't remember what I was saying. Big crab. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. The um, speed running tactic for that level is actually that you just kind of get damaged by that thing and swim through it into the exit. <laughs> um, this level can be kind of confusing. It's there's just a lot of levels to it. Typically, a good idea to kind of go around the bottom route. Clear everything up that's down here, then make your way up. Oof, that was close. I want that life, man. Okay, let's head back now. Here I am overthinking the level, as usual. Grab this. It's worth a lot of points. 
Although, again, I'm not really going for points, I'm just... <laughs> I have to keep defending myself by saying that. Um, okay, so we gotta go up this way. Um... I think... Oh my god. I think that's a secret exit. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure about it. It could just be a regular exit. I, I don't actually remember if this level has a secret exit or not. Pretty sure it does though. Oh yeah, it does. If it extends this far past, then it has to have a secret exit somewhere up here. If I could safely get over there without killing myself. Alright. I'd probably just jump over. <laughs> okay, so you can't run into bombs. Uh, newsflash, those are enemies. Or they count as enemies. Even though they're just kind of like traps out in the world. Uh, they count as enemies that damage you and give score, so... Beware of them. Lord in heaven. Another thing that's interesting about this game is the enemy design. I find it really, uh... It's just unique. It's different. Like, every enemy has, like, a super cool, like... ...way that they attack, or, like, has, like, interesting invulnerability phases. sorts of cool stuff in this game from a art perspective. Mm, don't know why I blew those up. Because I already know I'm not going for that exit. I mean, if that exit is so obvious, then like it has to be the regular exit, right? Holy moly. Almost face planted right into that fireball. Oof. I think that's it. What did I miss? I did <laughs> yeah, that was a secret exit. Big canyon. Okay, so this is a, a jet mission. There's two types of flying things. There's like a bomber copter and then a bomber jet. So this is a... These basically play like um, underwater levels, but in the air. And away we go. Um, that's the other thing that's a bit different about them. They are auto-scrollers. <laughs> um, I don't think bombs home on enemies. Yeah, no. It's a little bit different from water levels. A bit more uh, involved, I guess. More skill-based. Difficulty doesn't really come from maneuvering because this thing flies like super smoothly and you don't have to worry about going forward and backwards. You can boost like that though. Um, holy shit. Here I am getting effed up because I'm too worried about hitting all these idiots. I want it. Oh, you, you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, can't go back. <laughs> I 
Well, I don't really need a safety vest for this level. Like, unless you're just going like, holy moly. Unless you're just going like absolutely ape shit with your uh, bombs, then you don't really need it. I'm yeah, not sure why a Star Fox boss just kind of like shows up out of nowhere like that, but kind of does and just ruins your day. There ain't no way in hell I'm getting a 5 on this. Not with the amount of stuff I've missed. It's kind of like the crab thing, except he's uh, a bit easier. He's got homing missiles and then the big ones that he shoots, but overall it's pretty easy to get rid of him. Just gotta not fire continuously like a chimpanzee and you'll do just fine. That was pretty dangerous, huh? Almost. Holy moly, we got a five. I did it! Almost got killed by my own bombs. Again. Um, so we gotta get the other exit here, which should be relatively simple. Hey, look at that. We got 200 crystals. So our life went up by one. We get to enjoy uh, having a little bit more room to oh, mess up. The drop in frame rates is what I'm blaming on missing two of those. <laughs> oh lord. Save me. Okay. Secret exit. Achieved. I did it! Now we can go to the uh... Wait no. Regular exit. Achieved. <laughs> now we can go to uh, Darkwood. So, heard that red tornadoes are mean and white tornadoes are kind. So yeah, that's kind of your gimmick in this level, is you've got red tornadoes and white tornadoes, and white tornadoes um, don't hurt you when you jump in them, and red tornadoes do. I think, unfortunately, to get a 5 on this level, I think there are some red tornadoes you do have to jump into. Um, Just because they kind of give you that gimmick of you have to sacrifice life to uh, get the secrets. But then again, I could be talking out of my ass. I don't actually remember. Avoid that guy. What does this do? Oh uh, yeah, I think this is where you need a red to get up to that platform. Or no, you need to backtrack over there to get those two gems. I mean, mine as well, I guess. <laughs> it's not too big of a time sink. Nice. And that's the level. Super short level. Um, Dragon Road. Ugh. Like, I, I enter levels and I either get hit with like incredible amount of nostalgia in a good way or in a bad way. And <laughs> this is a bad one. So again, this level's kind of like that last one that we, that I was talking about that's very like, sideways kind of level like you're on the side of a cliff except there's some asshole throwing rocks at you the whole time the frame rates are just like falling apart and there's knives 
golden life just heals you to full, I think. Yeah. Problem with those knives is if you don't kill them and they kind of just like kamikaze into the ground like that, um, I don't think you get score for them. But I do think they respawn. So, I'm right back where I started. Stop putting rocks right in front of me! <laughs> God damn it. And here's our culprits. <laughs> These big fucking Geodude motherfuckers. Slamming rocks all over the place. Backtrack a little bit, just grab that. I, I didn't really need to do that. Oh god. Oh god. These guys take a few hits. Look, you can see them huddled in the ground there like freaking idiots. Be super careful about my actions and moves. I think you can blow this up. Yeah. A little bit of a secret there. I think you have to jump along this? Yeah. Makes me nervous being at one life. Here's a big one. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh! Stop putting them on top of me. <laughs> god, thank god I got a five. It means if I even do a bonus level or a bonus episode, I don't have to go back and do that one. You must be here to see the UFO that landed nearby. That's not going to be his voice. I am Nitrous, a soldier of the Garadin Empire. Go back. No one shall pass me. So usually on the level select screen when it says verses like that, um, it implies a boss fight. Uh, so this guy's your first boss fight. <laughs> Bosses work a little bit different in terms of score. Um, they have a score that slowly ticks down. So bosses are kind of like a speed run basically of how fast can you kill said boss. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to be so dramatic there. So basically, when this guy lands on tiles that are on the ground, he activates that power, and it shows where the spikes are going to go, like what directions they're going to go, but he can be pretty easy. You just have to get him caught in a loop of, like, chasing you and then running into your bombs, kind of like what I did for those last two right there. I just realized you retain your health from levels, so that makes this even worse that I had such low health at the end of that last one. Overall, very simple, um, but spoiler alert, definitely not the last time we're going to see him. Uh, 7,000. <laughs> you have to like wail on his ass <laughs> to get 7,000. But like I said, you can get him caught in loops and it makes it easier. Who are you? I am Piebot. Please help Princess Million. Alright, Piebot. Frame of Star was invaded by the Garden Empire. Princess Million stole the enemy's disc and left by shuttle. Not their disc. Princess was kidnapped. My shuttle was shot down. Bomb. 
Bomberman's all depressed. I'll give the disc to you. Please help Princess Million. The one remaining copy of Sim Theme Park. Don't worry, I'll rescue the princess for sure. Princess is nearby. I can feel it. Is it Piebot or Peabot? I hope it's not Peabot. Shoot. Area 3. Clown Valley. <laughs> a banger of a level. <laughs> right off the bat. Hell of a name. You'll see why it's named Clown Valley, though. Um, so now the Geodude guys are like, let's just roll at him. Try to kill him. So Clown Valley has these clowns that sit on these uh, balls. And then once you knock them off, they throw freaking knives like serial killers. And they have a lot of health. I mean, Sucks. There we go. But also because they move around fast, so if you get caught near one um, who is knocked off his ball and you aren't far enough away from him, he can mess you up, son. Damn, dude. Oh! I didn't even know they could do that. What the hell? Guess I've never kept one alive long enough to actually see that. Okay. We are <laughs> discovering secrets that we don't even want. Ah! Uh, well, I definitely knocked that guy off his ball, but it's gonna be hard to get back up there without him. Taking out my ass. Let's just go up the normal way. Whoop. Use bombs blasting. Mm. <clears throat> Not what I wanted to happen. Oh, he reinflated his ball. Good for him. Not good for me. Oh, he was coming at me. You saw it. I guess you could also kill them on top of their ball like that. Uh, might be a... Uh, <laughs> a less dangerous way of dealing with them. Dude, sound like he just like ripped the wettest fart of 2021. But we did it. Easy. I did it! That's also a really short level. It's just really dangerous because those clowns. Great rock. Fuck. There's trees. This is what known in the business as a vertical level. Okay. I just killed myself. <laughs> I thought I was aiming towards the box, but I guess I was facing the wall. I was looking at where I wanted to throw my bomb instead of looking at Bomberman. Man, now we got weak ass bombs. Got them weak ass bombs. Let's just go up the normal way. Try not to die. Grab these. Holy moly, I'm the worst. I swear that air momentum just messes me up every time. It's so weird, and like, you won't know exactly what I'm talking about unless you've played the game, or you... I don't know, have like a, a great uh, imagination for how slippery it controls in midair can feel.
Ugh. Another platform that's activated by a bomb. The safest thing to do is throw one and then jump on it, because they're kind of slow moving. I guess we'll jump down here. Get that secret and grab those. Just for the sake that I know that they're there. Jumping all around and I take off. My pants and I do a little dance off. I don't know why I'm singing through this song now. They're spraying poisonous gas. Poison gas saved his life. I think that's it. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. There's probably a rainbow jump in that level that I just didn't see. Fog route. Um. This makes use of Nintendo 64's awful rendering distance. I can't remember if this level has... Jeez Louise, what is that? Um, a secret or not? I know there's this little wall that opens. That's the only one in the level though. Okay, now I got an idea for how frequent that is. Just want the crystals, man. The crystals. Those guys just fall whatever direction you're facing, or whichever direction you're going. realize those bombs back there didn't give me any score which means that to get score from those you have to actually hit them and not let them blow up from like each other interesting uh, thing of note I guess holy moly that saved my life I think there's okay yeah there is lives in this game so Speaking of lives, when you die, um, so your firepower does go down, but you also lose a life. I think if you lose all your lives, then your all your stuff resets, um, health included. But I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Never gotten a game over. Um, as much as I say this game is one of my white whales, it's just because there's a boss in the uh, final world that. I was never able to beat. So it's not like a thing where like I got stuck on a level and just died over and over again. I mean, I died over and over again to the boss, but, you know. It's kind of shitty too, because it, like, with my story about me dying to a boss later in the game, I would have to replay older levels to get my bomb and fire count back up. But then again, like, once we get to the boss, I'll explain it, but it's one of those things of, like, maybe lower actually is better on that fight. <laughs> okay. Grabbing all the... Oh, oh, oh. Grabbing all this crap that we grabbed before. Doing it in a much less caring fashion. Thanks for that. Someone's throwing something. These guys in their scooters are like not even threatening, man. 
this boy shoots these homing like energy balls at you. You can like wait it out or just like throw a, a flurry of bombs at him because your explosions actually do cancel out his uh, electro balls. Hey, we found a ship. The UFO. We made it. And I got a five. Wow. Lucky me. All right, versus Endel. Our boss for this world. Bomberman, is that you? How did you get here? Princess Million, I'm here to rescue you. With my angry eyebrows. Hello, little man. I am Endol. Nice gold teeth. You came here to rescue the princess? I can't let you do that. I must stop you. Why? <laughs> what, what reason do they have for it? Nitrous, take Million away with you. Or take Million with you. Here I am ad living. It's just like so fired up about it. Hold on. Hold on. Never mind. This Endel guy good, looks tough. I mean, yeah, he's got like. He looks like a catfish fused with something. <laughs> Alright. Endol. Uh. Relatively simple boss. Um, his weak point is his chest. Um, you just kind of have to hit it over and over again. And hope for the best. Dodging these, uh, these things on the ground. Don't get too close to him. Then he enters phase two. Phase two is even easier. He kind of just chases you around. And we'll shoot out these uh, electro balls. But again, like you can blow them up with your bombs if you time them well enough. And there we go. And money rains from the sky for no good reason. How did? How are you supposed to get seventy five hundred? I felt like I was wailing on his ass. You gotta be quick, then. Damn. You can't like miss a single throw. Princess is nearby. I can feel it. She's on Prima Star. Isn't that where she came from? Why would they take her back there? <laughs> Let's hurry. Let's hurry indeed. So, next time on Let's Play Bomberman Hero, I'll be doing the second planet. And we will see what's in store for us on, uh, what's it called? Aw, yeah. 73 clear points. We got a silver. If you get all fives, you get a gold, and it unlocks special stuff in the uh, options menu. Not super important, but... Bonus stage! So you get these bonus stages every once in a while for uh, doing really well in worlds. Uh, it's a good way to enter the next world with um, maxed out uh, fire and bomb because normally there's a lot of power-ups to be had in these areas. But also a lot of crystals to be grabbed as well. Um, so it can get you closer to that next health up. So, next time we will do Planet 2, which is Primus. Um, and yeah, we'll see what lies in store for us. But thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Let's Play Bomberman Hero. Um, I hope you stick with it. This game has a lot of twists and turns later on and a lot of really frustrating levels coming up. But uh, we'll see that when we get there. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your host, Esprit Jolini, on this channel. Bye-bye.